Do you know those John Cage prints from uh, Top Gun Press? Are you videotaping? John Cage did everything. Yeah. Okay, this is Unryu paper. Unryu paper. Let's cut out a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, get matches. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yes. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna get one edge. And we're going to go this way, and we're going to come over. And then we're going to go down while it's on fire. And we flip this and flip those, crank like a maniac. OK, ready? Yeah. Start it on fire. Be brave, be wild. Get on that side. Okay. Yeah. Recreating a John Cage experience. OK, go, 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 go. OK, ready? Yeah. Ready, go this way, drop it. Go, 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 fast, fast, fast. Go. Oh, it's a smoking print. <laughs> we may want to repeat it. I didn't say it would smell good. Stop, stop, stop. Let's back it off. Smells like bad marshmallows. Do that burn? Let it, let it burn longer. Okay. Oh, I didn't see it. Do it again. Do it again. Light it. Okay. That was a bad version, Gilda. I didn't want to see it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. First go around wasn't good enough. We're going to do another one. Are you recording? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're going to put that on YouTube? I guess I could, yeah. Well, I gotta see the re results. No, 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 you're fine. Okay, this one's on both show. And so why did he do this? Well, he was looking for the accidental business. He also was branding his prints. So he was using stuff from the I Ching to determine where the where stuff was going to go in the press and then how he was going to brand and what the time frame would be. OK, we're going to hold longer. When we see a burn through, start moving. OK, you're going to flip at this end, right? OK, so we go around this way. Fire. Fire in the hole. Now, he had about a 50 or 60% loss, so uh, I don't feel bad. Uh, that's good. More fire. Oh, good fire. Spread out the fire a little. Okay. Ready? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Come closer. Closer, closer. Come close. Don't be afraid. You got to be brave in art. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little Now, now drop it fast, fast, fast. Go, go, go. Remember, 50, 60 percent loss, so. <laughs> now what he did with the things that came out of it is um, they were often floated in water to attach them to a piece of leaves. Sometimes they were backed uh, with, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that growl. There we go. OK, now. <laughs> Real, real gentle. 
There's a hole in it. <laughs> yeah, well, John Cage made oh, holes I in like his, it. too. Okay. <laughs> so now what we do is this, then we float it in a bath of water, and we slide another sheet underneath it so this will adhere to it. Okay, and then what he usually did was he started to brand the surface or hand paint some of it. Okay, let's do another one. This one worked. This one worked, yeah. So now you're going to put it, you're going to float it in? Not right now. Later, later on, we'll float it. We're going to try some other papers. The aftermath. Chief, why do you put the paper on when it's still so much on fire? Why don't you let the... Because he wanted to burn through it. Yeah, well, oh, he wanted to burn through. He wanted through. to burn through, yeah. When you look, uh, somebody get the magic book. Um, in his press, he... That he, book that's on the table right there? Yeah, he wanted those kind of things to begin to happen. Can you remove some of the oil from the plate? Oil. Huh? Can you that burn with oil? Uh, well, we could. But. Well, yeah, I'm wondering if there's that red food that you Yeah, it, it is just like the red food thing. Well, you know, uh, with his interest in Buddhism and stuff like that, uh, yeah. he was looking for the accident, the kind of nature taking over. Yeah. And, uh, it's a very, it. very high loss rate. I mean, they would, they would do this for days and maybe save two of them. Yeah. Yeah, it should be... Yeah, we'll put it... One more time. So what book is that? This is Magical Secrets, Thinking about uh, thinking Creatively, by the folks of Ron Point Press. What it is is that they, they took 13 aspects of creativity, and they illustrated each one of them in the making of an intaglio print at their shop. Yeah. See, here's a John Cage. Oh, there's a oh, that's Yeah, awesome. OK. And see what he did here. He was branding here. And this is just the soot and stuff. Now, that's, this one happens to be on Gumpy. But um, the, uh, there should be, see, here's exactly the same experience that we're doing here. Now, what he did is had these big metal rings that he, they heated up. And then uh, they would, would um, they would brand the paper. And you can see where the fragments are attached to a larger sheet. Yeah. The, the, the beauty of that really stark white contrasting yeah, yeah. with what happens. Because uh, yeah. the, the Asian paper is thin enough that it always has a bit of color to it. Mm -hmm. But then you get the accidental quality of the edges and like the fragments floating around. So it's a huge loss rate. But the ones that work can be very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And this is in the library. This one, right? but you should, you should have your art yeah. This is so zen.